Hi, my name is Miranda Martin, and I am going to be discussing the impact um, Comenius had on education. So, a little bit about his background. He was born in the Czech Republic. Um, he was an educator, administrator, and a writer. He lived during the Thirty Years' War. Um, he was orphaned at a young age but he was still able to go on and complete a higher education, um, so college and, and such. He was an ordained minister in the Unity of the Brethren. Um, and at the during his time, um, the, the clergy um, was corrupt. So, um, and then the education, um, education was only accessible to rich males. Um, and so, with all of this going on, Comenius and his family um, were forced to go into hiding. So, um, his life's work is often interrupted by um, various events. So, his philosophy of education, um, he's the founder of pacifism, um, which um, is the idea that if people are made knowledgeable about the world, um, then they are able to judge various events themselves. Um, he believes in a hol holistic education, um, so mind, body, and spirit, um, just, you know, the, the whole, whole thing. Um, knowledge is best attained through through our senses about real objects. So he um, believed in having hands-on um, experiences and learning organically through those types of experiences. Um, he did not like the system of um, in the education system how. They were made to memorize. It was a, a lot of, you know, standing and reciting and that sort of thing. And um, like I had said earlier, he was a more hands-on activity um, educator. Um, educators should be facilitators and incorporate play into instruction. So kind of letting the students um, take lead in their own educational experience. Instruction should be based on the child's developmental stage. Um, so he believed that children were ready to learn certain things at th certain stages, and if done appropriately, then um, education would be gratifying. It would be um, a pleasurable experience. And then um, he also believed children should not be forced to learn um, and that scripture enriches learning, but he also valued se um, secular literature as well. He, um, against popular opinion, he wanted to integrate academics into the religious-based curriculum. And there was um, a lot of people that believed that they were, if you were trying to integrate science and all of those things that you were kind of leaving um, Christian values behind um, or it could you know taint your thoughts or um, whatever so um, but he Com Com Comenius believed that knowledge actually brings people closer to God because God created everything and he created knowledge um, he believed that piety should be modeled for children, um, and piety is the lifestyle or the living where you're just totally consumed with Christ. Everything you do um, is centered around Christ, your thoughts, your actions, everything. Um, he believed lessons in morality um, should be modeled and practiced. Um, and, and he believed that improving the education system would benefit society. He thought that um, educators lacked stern order. He believed that the school building needed to be restructured, um, making it pleasing. 
um, aesthetically and and building them in, in a quiet, calm location. Um, he also believed everyone should have access to education, um, and even the girls, which was against um, unpopular belief then as well. He believed that educating all the children together would create unity, and that they also learn from each other. Um, he wrote The Great Didactic, and this was kind of laying out his philosophies and ideas on school um, reform. Um, he believed that children from a very young age should be educated by their children first, then they would attend primary school, then Latin grammar school, and then the Pansifist University. Um, he was one of the first to write sequential textbooks he opposed corporal punishment and emotional abuse, which um, that was going on then. So um, he was kind of an advocate for children in that sense. Um, he believed that students learn better when they feel safe. Um, his perspectives on diversity. He was an advocate for peace. Um, he believed, again, everyone should have access to a quality education. Um, he incorporated various literature and visuals to support um, student development and um, he valued art education from diverse cultures. It kind of enriched the learning experience. So um, Comenius had a Christian worldview. Um, again, he emphasized piety. So just his whole world was consumed um, with Christ, um, speaking on, um, you know, preaching the Bible and then also um, living what he, he preached. Um, he was also consumed with improving society and um, he strongly believed in a universal education, um, one where everyone was welcome everyone received a quality education. Um, so thinking about him compared to other educational think, uh, thinkers, um, Rousseau believed that females should receive a different education than, than males and um, that their education should target skills for raising children and taking care of the husband. And as I had mentioned before, Comenius felt that everyone um, should have access to a quality education um, and not just targeting skills for raising children and taking care of their husbands. Um, Rousseau and Comenius agreed that children should learn by doing um, and learn through nature, so they did agree there. So um, I chose Comenius because of his commitment to Christ. Um, he lived what he preached and um, he has just left a positive impact on education. And here are my references um, where I obtained all of the information.